guys, it's Bianca and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing my experience so far with the Me Beauty skincare brand. This is their Superfruit Antioxidant Mask. Now, I've been using this roughly for about a month now. Um, and I just thought I would share my progress so far. I know it's a bit early to kind of give your review on a skincare product as skincare products tend to take a few months to really show on your skin. But I thought that while I was having a few improvements in my skin, I thought I would just check in and then do a final review in the end um, after a couple of months of use. So let's just go do... <laughs> Good day. Let's just do a little bit of a backstory about the brand. So Me Beauty is a South African brand, so it's a local brand. I'm all about supporting local brands. I feel it is super important to support other women in business. It's just something that I really, really like to do. Um, especially with the industry that I am in currently, such as Lunabox, we really do strive to to look after South African brands and support them as much as possible. Now, enough about that. Let's just speak about this mask in specific. So, Me Beauty kindly gifted this to me. And as you guys know, I've been loving skincare lately ever since I had a massive acne breakout last year. This time, I've really focused a lot more on my skincare. Hence why I've been trying out so many different skincare brands in the course of a year. Just to really see what agrees with my skin and what doesn't. So this is the Me Beauty Superfruits Antioxidant Mask and you get 50 ml worth of product. So let's just do a little bit of background about this specific mask. So this is a super hit of antioxidants to reverse the oxidizing free radical process for smoother, younger, happier and truly vibrant skin. It is loaded with potent antioxidants. <laughs> trying to speak so quickly. Um, it's loaded with potent antioxidants and free radical fighters of blueberry, cranberry, Oregon grape, bayberry, cayenne, and sea buckthorn. This mask combines this um, with the anti-aging benefits of glycolic acid, hyaluronic acid, coenzyme Q10, and peptides to give the beauty lift, shine, that every person with skin looks for in skincare. Um, so just some of the directions is just to apply generously to face and neck creating a thick coating. Mask does have glycolic acid so it may tingle on some clients but that is normal. Leave it on to 15 to 30 minutes can be applied under steam. Mask does have The mask does have natural fiber so it's great to leave on and use for emotions to slough off dead skin and exfoliate. Use a damp cloth or warm water to remove. So I'm going to go ahead and show you and talk you through the process on how it feels, how my skin looks like afterwards. So I have just gotten out of the shower and this is my skin obviously when you have hot showers. It's winter in Durban currently so it's kind of chilly so I really do like my very very hot showers hence why my skin is so red right now. Um, I usually when I wake up in the morning my skin is kind of even toned but because it's night time and I have just washed my face it's a little bit red. So, um, this is what the mask looks like. It is a whitish kind of colour with all of these lovely little scrubby things, which I believe are natural fibres, so that's good. We're not polluting the earth in any way. So, it smells like clay. Um, I have tried a lot of clay masks in my life, um, and they all pretty much smell like the same kind of clay. Um, yeah, every time I apply this mask, it always, you instantly put it on your face and it is so cooling. It's like, it's super refreshing. Um, and so I just like to apply an even layer all around and then I just tend to put like a little bit more in my problem areas, like my cheek area with a bit of my scarring and where most of my breakouts are. And then I like to put a bit on my nose so that my nose can get a little bit of a blackhead cleanse. So, um, like the statement said on the website, is that you will feel a slight tingling sensation. Um, that's just because of the glycolic acid, which I believe is kind of like a chemical exfoliant. My The ordinary products have them, and every time I do like a chemical peel or that kind of thing, or if I use my toner, it stings, which is normal. Um, if it is like unbearable, like you feel like you're getting like low-key a chemical burn, stop. But slight tingling is normal. So let's, while this is drying, because I'm going to be keeping it on for about 20 minutes. This is the perfect time for me to keep it on. Because I feel once 20 minutes hits, um, it dries. And then I feel like it's ready to take off. Um, I have written down a few points for you guys so that I have all my facts correct. 
Um, so the nice thing about this mask is that it's extremely affordable. It's only 165, no, 160 rand, if I'm correct. Uh, let me just go onto the website. It is 165 rand. So with 50 mils of product, um, it's been a month, so I've had a good amount of uses out of this little tiny tub. Considering that I've been using it twice a week every week for like four weeks, it's a good amount. So you could probably only really rebuy it after two months. Um, I'll let you guys know how long it lasts me after two months. But I think 165 every two months is kind of, it's like a good deal. Um, all the ingredients are listed on the back of the product. So you're not getting like any nasty surprises. All the instructions are on the back. Um, some... Uh, some information about the mask as well i think like looking at the ingredients look i'm not a scientist but majority of the ingredients on there i can recognize so i'm not like you know confused by all these like scientific names if you are confused about glycolic acid hyaluronic acid that kind of thing just a quick google away and it has amazing amazing benefits so the differences that i kind of saw on my skin i will try and see if i can attach a picture i can't actually remember if i took it before and after i really hope i did um but basically the differences that I have seen is that, you know, you, my skin was soft, like before, but now my skin is softer. So my skin has kind of like become more pliable and plump in a sense where like it's more alive, like it's not dull and like I can feel like the elasticity coming back into my face, which is a big claim, I know, but when I see a difference in my skin, like people tell me like, Bianca, your skin's looking amazing. And I'm like, oh, wow. Um, so my face feels softer and plump. My acne scarring has reduced a little bit and I think that's because of that glycolic acid which is in a chemical exfoliant. It does re replenish the skin and regenerate the skin layers. So I have noticed that especially on my cheeks area where they were more, a bit more dense. Um, a little bit of a breakout defense. I don't think that this is like an acne fighting mask per se. Um, purely because my... My, I didn't catch that. Sarah's listening to my videos. You are a weirdo. Um, anyway. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Yeah, it's, I don't think it's an acne fighting treatment. But I definitely feel like if you do have active breakouts, this mask will kind of like, I don't know how to say it, but it almost calm the acne down because of all the amazing ingredients inside the mask. So I would find like two days or one day after. So um, one or two days after having the mask on for that period of my time, um, my skin feels like it's a lot less angry. Like sometimes I'll get a breakout and it's red for days on end before it eventually dies down. When I use the mask, like it almost, it takes away the redness and the swelling goes down like overnight. Like I'm not saying it, cure, it's cure, it cures the pimple. I will still have the pimple but the redness and the inflammation like definitely comes down a bit which is so nice because that is what you want in skincare like you don't want like angry red skin um so i really enjoyed that about the mask now i'm pretty sure there'll be many more benefits the more you use it to be honest i didn't really see any much like huge differences like these um within like the first week two weeks like i didn't really see much like i still felt like the coolness and like the the plumping and the softness but like I think, but like any other skincare stuff, like like something isn't gonna work for you like in one week. Like if you want long term results, like acne fading and that kind of thing, I think you would need to use a product a lot more. So if you get a mask and you're not happy with how it's working with you in two weeks, it's not enough. Like you really need to. And I've tried this with all my skincare stuff. Like I haven't given a solid opinion until i've tried it or i finished it or something like that so what i'm saying what is happening to my skin as of like this month is just the results i've seen so far all of those ingredients pack a lot more than they punch so i'm sure that the longer i use it and the longer you guys use it the more results you'll see and i'm so soaked that my skin is really liking this mask like no breakouts no like rashes it was it's just so soothing it's like I don't know what else to say it's just like a good mask and i've only been using it for a month so i really really have been enjoying it um 
also my texture is minimized as well i would usually get a bit of texture like where my pimples like when they die down and heal they would usually leave like a bit of dryness but my i think it's the hyaluronic acid that helps with the moist like the moisture in the skin i could be wrong i did give it a google when i first got the product to see like what it was about but i'm pretty let's actually before i go and start claiming stuff let me just make sure that what i'm saying is correct hyaluronic acid um Oh yes, I was right. So hyaluronic binds the water to your skin to help retain moisture. So that's probably why like when, when you take off the mask or you or you feel your face the next day or the next two days after you've worn the mask, that's probably why my face is so plump and like lively and not dull. So that makes sense. The more you know. <laughs> um so the only pros I mean the only cons that I would kind of say is that if you have very sensitive skin and you don't like any pain or tingling or anything like that you might maybe not like this but I think um, the more your skin gets used to how it feels it's less of a shock factor um, but yeah that's all the good things that I've experienced with the mask I haven't experienced any negative things um, I think the honestly like the best part of the mask is that it's local like that's all i have to say that's like what made the mask for me so when this brand approached me and they asked me like hey can we send you some stuff i was like absolutely i love testing out local brands it's my favorite so i think i've covered everything and i don't know how long i've been speaking for i probably should have set my alarm i always do this but the nice thing is, is that you can leave it on as long as you like and it doesn't do shit to your skin so that's good so I'm going to set a timer because I've been probably been speaking for like 15 or 10 minutes now. I'm going to set an alarm for another 10 minutes. And then I will show you guys, um, once it's all rubbed off, I will show you guys what my skin looks like. You probably won't see it on camera because my camera isn't super HD and you're not going to see like every pore. But um, the nice thing is that after this has dried down, probably, you can probably already see it drying on my chin. Well, while I'm here, let's just do a close-up of what the mask looks like on my skin. As you can see, it's still a bit wet, so it does take a couple of minutes to dry down. My chin has already started drying. Um, when it dries down completely, it's a lot less opaque, so you'll see like a bit of your skin peeking through like there and there. Um, but the nice thing is, is that when you do take this off, you can gently massage it into the skin. Oh. You can gently massage it into the skin, and these little tiny little exfoliator thingies <laughs> these little tiny exfoliator oh my teeth look so yellow because of this mask um the little tiny exfoliator things will help also take off the excess mask as well as exfoliate your skin and get rid of all the dead skin cells that you've acquired in the past week um so i typically like to use this mask in the beginning of the week and the end of the week or sometimes in the middle but because tomorrow is my birthday, I won't have time to film, so I'm doing it on a Tuesday. Usually Wednesdays are my mask days. That's when I do like my intense skincare routine. But um, I'm going to go ahead and let this sink in for another 10 minutes. And then I'll come back and I'll show you guys what my skin looks like clean. Okay, so I've just scrubbed it off. As you can see, my skin is like glowing. And it feels <sighs> so soft. Like, there's no other mask that I've tried that has made my face feel like this supple and plump. Like, it just feels good. Um, yeah, like, this is how my skin looks. I'll do a bit of a close-up. I'm praying and hoping that the camera picks up on something that I've said. I really need to invest in an HD camera because then it will show <laughs> you guys what I'm talking about. Um, but yeah, I wish you guys could feel my skin through the camera. Anyways, um, I hope that this video has taught you a little bit something about the brand and about the Superfruits mask. They do have others on their site and they all have like different kind of uses. This is just the one that I got in specific and I feel like it was a match made in heaven because I love it so much. Um, I hope you guys are having an amazing day so far and I will link all of Me Beauty's details down below such as their Instagram, Facebook and website so you guys can go and check them out for me. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys are having an amazing day and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!